that's when I feel like it's good to have a cat. Like when you raise them yourself, because they know you. Who? Yeah, because like realistically, to me, every time I've had a cat that young, uh huh, they turned out like dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I like yeah, follow me around yeah. and things like that, and I can call Aww, them and they actually come. I miss my dog now, my little baby. I wonder what he doing. He be looking so sad when I leave out the house. That's why it be taking me a little minute to come over here. Because I be talking to him like, all right, baby, mommy got to go. But I'll be back, y'all. <laughs> I do. He be looking at me like, the fuck, bitch? You just got in the house. <laughs> like, damn. I be like, I know. I'll be back. You recorded me already, talking about my dog. Whatever. As y'all can hear, this is the Controversy Trucking Podcast, and we are all here <laughs> in the motherfucking building. This is the host with the motherfucking most, a.k.a. Tony Berry Gordy, a.k.a. Ask Your Girlfriend, a.k.a. Mr. Motherfucking Fantastic, a.k.a. The host with the motherfucking most, a.k.a. Motherfucking All Hell King Killmonger, a.k.a. Motherfucking Oh my God, he greatest. looks like Michael B. Jordan. I know. That's why you said it. Yep. I was thinking like, <laughs> my life stopped. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and so, as y'all can hear, we got Ash in the building. Oh. Fucking bitches, Jones. And Yo, big dog, big dog, big dog, off the lick, dog, off the lick, dog. <laughs> so y'all know. <laughs> so if it's a little turn, don't worry about it. Next episode, we're gonna talk about sex. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that motherfucking notification bell in the motherfucking bing. corner. And share. I, f- I f- always be forgetting to say it at the end, so you know what I'm going to say at the beginning. Because niggas need to know what it is yeah. anyway. Always yeah, hit that smash, slap, punch, kick. Follow Whatever you got to do, hit that button. social media is just <laughs> what he said. fucking all that. But yeah, we're going to talk about sex next episode. We're going to talk about something a little more tame this episode. Some whack ass crazy shit happening in the world. AKA politics. We're not going to start with politics. <laughs> what we're going to start with is this nigga Robert Kraft. What about Robert Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, 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 she said, what about <laughs> Robert <laughs> Kelly? <laughs> All right. We can, sh- sh- yeah, we can do Robert. Because that nigga going to jail. He, he, he just did, jail. He did the weekend in jail. He the super jail. <laughs> then the girl bailed him out. A girl well, bailed him out, hundred thousand oh, cash. Okay. Yeah. Somebody bailed him out. I don't yeah. know if it was cash. They showed a picture in a little interview with a, a white, a white. We ain't really had to talk about our right community. I'm talking shit. Yeah, nah, he bailed her out. All right, so now we we gonna talk about this. So we wasn't gonna start. We was gonna start. You know, we gonna talk about Robert and Robert. <laughs> there you go. The Robs today. The tag team by the Roberts, and they all doing some weirdo sex shit. So R. Kelly is out on a hundred thousand dollar bond because some daycare worker. I had a question. What a waste! How did she got this money? So that's same was thing. It was a. No, it was the whole thing was a million, but you got to do ten percent. Got paid ten percent. Yeah, she gave him a hundred thousand. She up the whole hundred thousand. That's what I was wondering. Like, ain't ten percent? So I thought. Yeah. yeah. No. Ten percent of a hundred thousand. Ten percent, dude. You gonna bail this man out of jail? He ain't even paying his damn child support. <laughs> he got hundred sixty thousand dollars of child support. What the? Fuck? You should have went and paid the kids real quick. If that was the case, what? Oh, so she just had bread. She had that bread. All right, came into eleven million. All right, is that one point wow. one? It looks like eleven. Come over here. I didn't see the decimal. But she she, she has a daycare worker and she's and a owner of a bar and grill in the suburban Blue Island, Louisiana. Oh, Illinois. I don't know why that's the Louisiana. That's crazy. Cause I'm a licensed professional. I know. <laughs> well, fuck you. I am though. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't say to. how she knows him. <coughs> so she just came into a lot of money and cashed out a hundred grand. I was like, come on, boy. That's pretty much. No, she met him on the crew. Yeah. Oh, oh. Do y'all have any thoughts on I don't know. I don't him? 
Because that's literally only at the moment. Listen, that's the herpes dick. <laughs> that dick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nah. I mean, but think about all, all the shit that R. Kelly got into, all the women he got into. So, like, it's not really surprising that there's still someone out there that's like, hey, right, I got you 25,000 for each one of your cases. Nigga, what? What are your sexual options, really? Other niggas with herpes. That's wild. So, he probably the richest nigga with herpes dick. I'm cool so I'm sure I On the nigga faces, that does like, Gave like, me herpes <laughs> 100,000 ain't worth the herpes <laughs> I'm like I'm cool Oh shit I forgot On this shows. nigga This nigga fucking kids I should've showed you Where the new studio is She don't believe that We gonna be We getting it together So Banger You should've told me Show me Show yeah. me later though Definitely Banger But yeah no Yeah fuck this nigga R. Kelly He definitely need to be in jail yeah. I'm mad at her for bailing this nigga out. That's wild. Like, what's up with you people? How you... She should go to jail for bailing him out. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And then they had them GoFundMe's set up to get him out of jail. GoFundMe said, <laughs> no. Yeah, the GoFundMe fuck? like, no. Nah, we not <laughs> You tried it. Chill. <laughs> you tried it. Not today. No, that's mm. trash ass. All right, what's the, ro- what's the other Robert? Mr. Kraft. Yes. Um, the cheese. Sir Kraft. <laughs> AKA the owner of the motherfucking Patriots. Yeah. Wait, what was it? Hey, 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 hey slow down, slow down, <laughs> slide down real quick. What was the question? Why would a wealthy and powerful man like Robert uh, Kraft allegedly pay for Don't sex for a woman like at a Florida strip sex. mall massage parlor? <laughs> because it's sex, and because it's convenient, and because it's fat. Yeah. And they Pretty much. Free. And and you he's probably paying them like nothing cash. and like cash and dollars. nothing though, like nothing to him. To just... It's nothing to just throw two hundred dollars and be like, here, pay your rent. Right, he own uh, craft mac and cheese. Six. Right. Oh, I got another Robert after this. Well, that I too. forgot. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, he owns craft mac and cheese. Well, I mean, that's, that's why. That's why he I owns craft mac and cheese. Yeah, that's why I called him the cheese man. Fuck but. that nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really eat. Man, so I like, got no problem with prostitutes. My issue. I like craft cheese though. No, I don't. The people that are victims <laughs> of this, or well, the women that are in this, might be sex trafficking victims. Oh. So that's oh. the only, yeah, that's the only issue. It's not that he buy a pussy. It's that they buy these sex slaves. Wrong. Yeah, we're getting. That's started. fucked up. They, exactly. That's fucked that's up. It. And All right, hold on. <laughs> I got another Robert though. Who's, your, who's the other Robert? Robert De Niro. What happened? What is he doing? Yeah, what is up with him? Type in, type in Robert De Niro. Oh, shit. 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 What is he doing? Top stories. Where is it at? Type in sex sex trafficking. Oh. Oh God. Robert. No, Robert. Right. My dad's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> oh no, Robert. We're all losing today, I guess. Uh, I'm looking Fuck at all. <laughs> It was a story about him being connected with sex trafficking. That one right there that says sex trafficking lawsuits? Oh, fact check. So it may be wrong. Ah. Snopes. Every time I see Snopes, I'll be like, oh. I don't see it on a major, so I'm not I'm not even going to say it anymore. Because it's not on a major, like CNN or... So I'll take it back. All right, Robert De Niro, you was my oh no, you was my guy when I first heard. I was like, nah, Robert. Oh, oh, oh while we're talking about this, man, not shit. the OG. <laughs> that that's how I was. I was like, damn, Rob, damn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and what about all this fucking removing family from kids videos? Uh, they talking about Momo. No, what about these videos with these splice how to kill yourself and kill yeah. your parents shit? Mama. 
Yeah, not even that. They got another shit that come on like, hey kids, don't do it sideways, do it long ways. Yeah. What the fuck? I mean, I mean, I've just seen a whole bunch of like people I know that got crazy. kids posting about it recently. Yeah, the mama shit is. Doing I seen the mama shit. That shit. The mama shit saying the shit. Oh, while your parents are asleep, cut the gas on on the stove. <laughs> yeah, just watch shit. Type shit. What the fuck? Like, the I, where is this coming from? People ain't got shit else to do with their life. Fucking and what else happened? Bird on box. Is <laughs> so you know how there's like kid videos or just kids playing or just you know at the park or just doing normal children shit. Yeah. So pedophiles are going in and like time stepping like when a little girl does a cartwheel mm-hmm. and her panties uh. are showing, so that other pedophiles can come and see that, and that's what YouTube is trying to stop. Oh. But the way they're trying to stop it is by like t- no, no, no. That's misleading. Mm-hmm. What they're doing is telling the content creator that they have to go through and remove these negative comments. Exactly. That face. Exactly. What kind and of wild they, shit? And if they don't, they're going to be demonetized. Now y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all see oh, hold, on, hold on. 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 I mean, like they can't They're gonna like, be demonetized. Like, the this is, is they your can't, website. They can't take. They the can't fuck? just get rid of the comments altogether. Cause one, like under kids' videos, cause kids do like videos that make money also. Yeah. But does anybody want this? No. Yeah. I got, I got two drinks for Jonathan. I'm drinking. Something dark. <laughs> oh, you about to be lit, 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 lit. Don't I don't know if I can do I it, but it's maybe because I don't really I don't drink that, as I much as I used to. It never applies to me. It's so I've done that shit yeah. forwards, backwards. Yeah. 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 Next thing you know, you getting up fucking noodle leg and shit. Exactly. Oh, yeah. accident. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Marcus, you know all your text messages in the group come in a single text. Oh, to we my just phone? had a conversation about this earlier. Dead ass. Like, my phone, yeah. sometimes, like, depending, like, sometimes I'll, like, send a text message and then it go into the group, and sometimes it'll just be like, oh, sending three people. <sighs> I'll be looking like. And I'm like, I, I was thinking about this shit the other day. I'm like, I don't think I ever told them specifically. <laughs> Like, y'all I think, just let it be. I like, just let I, it I be. I never thought, like, I never knew. I'm like, I don't think I ever told him that yeah, my phone I just let it be. messages sometimes. Like, yeah. Why are you telling me your PC, Marcus? <laughs> and then the way your name in my phone is no PC, Marcus. So I'll be like, Marcus. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but that makes sense. I just leave it and let it be. So that kills your engagement with your community. Right. Yep. They have a new comments mm-hmm. classifier. Okay, I don't know what that is. Remember when YouTube started to introduce the like friends thing and you essentially was like snitching on other people's channels? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was like, um, like Wait a minute. He, like he could sign up to tell on other people. So it what? wasn't that directly, but like. Wait a minute. Was, like, oh, yeah, you can, if you see a comment, you can report it and tell us what you don't like about it and this, that, and other. No. Yeah, that's a report that's button. Shit. So I was like, oh. Yeah, they got a whole button for that. It's a little flag. <laughs> report. <laughs> Hit the flag, black like, flag report. content. Like, what's the problem? No, tell YouTube us. need to Let get on their shit. They got too much shit going on right now. Obviously, they got some type of something going on that yeah, ain't right. Because they got too much shit going on at one time. You got three different episodes involving children. Fuck y'all got going on. I mean, on. like, they can't, like, I don't know. Well, I feel like with the, like, especially, like, the Momo videos and stuff like that, like, y'all go, y'all make it a set amount of time before y'all are able to upload videos and whatnot. Why don't y'all like? Why don't y'all have something that scans through that and catches mm-hmm. shit like that? Mm-hmm. Like, why don't y'all have something that looks at the shit? Bots that can filter for things like that. Right. That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Like, why is that not a thing? Just have it like default to bots. 
But yeah. Cause I mean, like when you upload videos to YouTube, if something's not right, they be like, "Hey, yeah. you can't well, do this." It looks like a lot Shit, of y'all be creators. going off the goddamn music somebody got playing out there in the background. Well, Shit. they just updated it <laughs> for real. Like, uh-huh. And so they're saying that, uh, like I said, they disabled any content from videos featuring minors, and their their new content count classifier, I guess, is kind of like the software we're talking about. Uh huh. And they just released that this today, cause the other thing they released maybe three or four days ago. And so that's what everybody was mad like, how are you gonna talk about that? So I'm just now seeing this. Yeah. Okay. Very too pedophile shit. Oh, I didn't YouTube. even know that was going on. That's crazy. Oh, you two right. gotta get it together. Yeah. If they had to say to me, because I think I've seen like either, I think I've seen a couple of articles about this, but I never validated like a, uh, I never knew if it was like a joke or if it's whatever it was, but I've seen like the possibility of them classifying pedophilia as a sexual orientation. Like, that's uh, that's they better separate the, that shit away from me. Well, <laughs> I mean, people pedophiles consider themselves as a community like anybody else. Right, yeah. So they're trying to push for it to be as accepted as every other sexual like orientation. Yeah, orientation. Yeah. They're trying to classify. They're trying to get it classified as something that's. No, they're trying to normalize that. Yeah, shit. pretty much. They're like, well, we're just like. The other groups of people, so we should be treated. No. No, these are children. The fuck? That's not the same thing. Like, like the arguments they have is wild. Yeah. (laughs) Mom, what is cheese powder? Right. Dead ass. (laughs) (laughs) What is that? Yeah. Oh, it come in the bag? You got the games on your phone? For real. You got cheese powder with. And for somebody to violate that, that's a sacred thing. I don't know. Like, you come around my team. Man, they better fucking go, man. Uh, fucking, you know, I can't even say what I, I do. Like Somebody mess with some kids around me. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I can't can, like this thing about pedophilia. Like if they capturing kids doing cartwheels and stuff like that, that's gonna be super hard to control. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like they think they doing their best with whatever. At the end of the day, I think it's probably maybe a demonetization thing. Like, well, right I'm now, okay. there well, is the change you get to. Delete your comments. If your video features minors, you can't have comments at all. Oh, okay. Be- well, that's just the new change. Before it was the demonetization, and now they switched oh, it they to. Switch. Well, the ones that are negative, what they mean is uh, negative uh, sites or what channels, they're being demonetized and everything like that. But now it's like no minor videos can have comments, and then they're trying to stop you from time stamping. So that's what the pedophiles are doing is being like a. Oh, because because you can click. Yeah, I was about to say uh, when you click the time stamp, right. it takes you exactly to the part. Right, 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 right. right. Clicking it like a replay. Yeah, I feel like maybe and I see something like a demonetization thing. They're trying to do something, but like I said, <coughs> oh yeah, no, I, it's a crazy sick world. Like they're trying to get kids to kill their parents. And yeah. Kids to, to, yeah. to kill themselves. Kids to kill themselves. Right. Man, you got pedophiles at an all time high. This is probably the worst time to have a child. Dead ass. And they wonder why niggas ain't popping out. I would say, realistically, like millennials, that's not the reason millennials not having kids, but it yeah, is no, the time not to have kids. Nigga, we broke. <laughs> yeah. Like, we can't afford this we shit. Broke. We broke. No, no, no. We ain't broke. Fuck you. I'm about to go home that's and eat some noodles. Like, you got that plan B? No, we can't do it. No. I can't even. That's what I was about to say. Nigga can't even between payday and Bruh. Like, you just had a kid on some shit. bullshit. I still got to go to work this week. I still. It's Thursday. You didn't nut it all in the day. And Friday is 24 hours away. Y'all both scared as fuck. Yeah. Like, This is true, man. You Sometimes you just end up with a kid. Uh, no, you get Plan that, gener- a, you know? that, that right. generic shit be forty six dollars. God, that this is still fifty dollars. <laughs> shit. I mean, they tax them like that because you know 
They know people out here Very doing cute. it. Yeah. I'm an extra today, now I'm on. Oh, With the new pro enamel. Oh, no. Pro enamel. 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 What was supposed to be not Right, we don't went into a whole fucking tangent. Yeah, y'all did. Sorry. Fine. Sorry. I was fine. Who is this? What, which one are we on now? We <laughs> on the Robert Mueller. What time? That's, there we go. You know what? You said the Mueller? Yeah, this is not Mueller, but I'm about to pull it up. Give me one second. I just had to do some other stuff. We had to. Oh, crap. Backspace. Delete. Oh, damn it. We were on crap. No, we done with crap. Oh, crap is related to all the shit we saw. Yeah, <laughs> she was afraid to give him for crap cheese. Yeah, I'm she not. I ain't giving him my money no more. Fuck it. This is what you're Shit, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, y'all got some good cheese, too. Guess what store brand it is. <laughs> Look, y'all got some good cheese. Good oh, maybe it is. Hundred percent. One hundred. Sargento, two dollars <laughs> more. Uh, <laughs> An all natural. <laughs> I mean, listen, cheese don't look like $2. plastic, all right? No. I mean, man, you right, you right. Them slices, man. But I like the slice. They come yeah, in the long rectangular like pack. Because I go to Aldi, so I get that friendly farm. Hey, <laughs> I, like I was hip to the friendly farm. I don't even too. fuck with crap. I don't know. <laughs> Unless it's a good day. It depends, Make some man. good mac and cheese. <laughs> no, All right, so Cohen. Michael Cohen. Yeah. Cohen. All right, we back on They finally got him in the trial. Is he done? We he too actually lit. in there now? It was a seven hour trial. I'm too lit. All right. <laughs> Oh, he, LeBron James. Nah, he, <laughs> I told you it was Kyle. I told you. I told you. Anyways, all right. So Michael Cohen, though, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> he, uh, what? His trial, you said his trial was seven hours? Yeah. Is he trying to redeem himself in the light of the people after no, all the bullshit? You said what? Yep. He's still going to jail. Oh, yeah, 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 he yeah. He's just Definitely. He just started Wait, to uh, him. Cohen was the same one that put the, uh, Cohen is, I don't know who you think Cohen is, but Cohen is the nigga that was snitching on people. Cohen is the one that paid this uh, porn chick off to be quiet. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what I was thinking about, though. Oh, yeah, he. I mean, he's Cohen's right hand. I mean, he's Trump's right hand man. He's, he's been with Trump. Trump. Lawyers, yeah. yeah, he's been with Trump forever. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so I don't really want to talk about the trial because I don't care about that. What I want to talk about is do y'all think this nigga telling the truth? You think we should believe him? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all. I got my perspective. I looked at it like I didn't really fuck with CNN or Fox because, regardless of how they say or claim to be, they both lean a certain type of way. Right. right. So I went to Bloomberg. Want to know why? Because Bloomberg is all about business around the world, global technology, and then anything that's global and how it affects the world as a whole. Right. So they were like, Cohen did a lot of talking. And it don't really seem like it helped. It what it really did is make both sides kind of dig their feet deeper in the sand and keep a divide going. So I looked at it from that lens when I was reading through things, and I was like, yeah, because I read things from CNN and Fox. I was like, this is basically exactly what Bloomberg said. Both of y'all don't got nothing good or nice to say about the other side. It's either Cohen was trying to redeem himself and paint a picture of Trump and how he's terrible, or Cohen is a red ass liar, and why would you trust a red ass liar? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm like, it seemed like from what I read though, it seemed like he was trying oh. to redeem himself in the situation oh, shit, the and be like, make himself shit. look nice and look Trump look like trash just because he's in a shit situation at this point, mm-hmm. like everyone else that was under Trump. <clears throat> So one of the Republicans said, liar, liar, pants on fire. I love Trevor Noah. He's a great comedian, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard him say, like, the 2016 Trump Tower meeting with John Jr. and others from the campaign with Russians, Cohen Rebecca Cohen is actually saying, why shouldn't we believe Michael Cohen? Because he's not telling the truth. Because he's not telling the truth. Because he's not telling the truth. 
Could take it though. <laughs> fake witness. That's a good ass point. All right, Carol Miller, I see you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucking Arizona. I know he's sorry as fuck. Cohen. <laughs> yeah. So no, I just wanted to try to see that and him to get that joke off. <laughs> but yeah. So those were all the Republicans basically calling this nigga lying the entire time where all the Democrats were just basically like, Oh, you're so brave for despising uh-huh. each other. And so it was just interesting that they did all of that back and forth. CNN and Fox did that back and forth basically. And then Bloomberg was like they gonna do this back and forth, and I watched Bloomberg tell me that last night before I did any of this research this morning. <laughs> before I went to sleep, I was like, "All right, I got it." So yeah, that's how I feel about this. Y'all niggas is wild. Y'all should calm down. He could be lying. He could be telling the truth. And realistically, we either need concrete evidence. True. And that evidence needs to like lead to like impeachment. Or we need to write out this last year and figure out who hey, the fuck is going to be our new Democratic president in 2020. I had a wild ass uh, bullshit. thought about this, right? Go ahead. So, I was thinking, like, what if they did impeach Trump, right? So, impeach gives him Trump, Pence becomes, like, president for the remaining of the years, right? Yeah. So, would they let Trump ride this out to, like, the end of the year? They'd impeach that nigga, right? Because, realistically, I don't feel like either side really fucks with him for real they just let him sit there because he's more like beneficial to one side than the other and at the end of it all they're gonna kick peach they go uh, peach they gonna kick trump out let pence take off and the pence gonna throw something in line right before he gets kicked out of office or before he even loses candidacy i don't know what he gonna do i feel like he's just gonna do some wild shit I mean, whatever he set in place would have to sit for at least two years. Yeah. Especially if the house has changed. Yeah. And the Democrats wouldn't be able to do shit about it. True. Or, I mean, they could just let Trump do it, but uh, I feel like it'd be, for them, it would be more, it'd be better if it was Pence to do it, because the Republicans might support him more than Trump. That's <sighs> stupid. Trump retarded. <laughs> this nigga is a shit. face. Trump is like the speaker. Bro. <laughs> Hey, that shit is oh yeah no no that was on point yeah sloppy speaker. It's terrible. We got fries. But that, I saying? feel like that's only a last like Wait. last Tony, resort move. We got fries. What was it? Lots of fries. <laughs> I can't remember what that nigga said. Yeah, many, 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 fries. Many, many fries. Hamburgers. Yeah, many, many fries. Many, many fries. Many, many fries. We have all of America's favorites. Many, many. We have hamburgers. <laughs> we have chickens. Burgers. Burgers. There's no G. Hamburgers. Many, many, many fries. fries. No, he said hamburgers. Oh, hamburgers. He ain't putting nothing with no G in there. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. <laughs> and many, <laughs> many fries. And many, many fries. Have <laughs> have at it. Need. That nigga went in the back and went oh, to go get some, eat some lobster. All our favorite fast foods. <laughs> <laughs> All the sauces. <laughs> Had that shit on a china. They put it on the presidential china. Sauce, <laughs> shit on a china. In the serving In the wrappers. If I ever the see hell? McDonald's sweet and sour sauce on a fancy Man. ass serving tray, I swear. Get out of here, Trump. Again, I should say again. <laughs> many, many. Many, many uh, fries. All right, so here we go. This is what I want to get to with the show right about. Bro. Trump getting impeached. So the other dude, uh, what's his name? Chris Hansen. Mm-hmm. Christopher Paul Hassan. Hassan. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, let's name for you. He's a right so wing white man. He is. <laughs> so wait, he's a uh, Navy Coast Guard. Yep. Um, this is his stockpile of weapons. Yep. And this is his plan if Trump gets impeached. What if Trump's illegally impeached? Best place in D.C. to go con- to get to see Congress people. 
where um, the Congress people live, Civil War, if Trump is impeached. So he based th- those were the phases of his plan. So basically, if Trump gets impeached, he's going to go to D.C. to find Congress people, then find out where they live and kill them to create a civil war, kill people on both sides. What? To create a civil war. That was, you my, civil wait, war. hold on. Here, wait, pause, pause, mm-hmm. pause. Here, here's my first issue with this, <laughs> wait, right? You see what I'm looking like? No, no, no. Here's my first issue with this. Nigga, you Coast Guard. Mm-hmm. Let's start there, right? You making this plan like you a fucking Green Beret, like you a Navy SEAL, like you Special Forces. <laughs> my nigga, you are a Coast Guard. You're fucking 49. <laughs> And the silences you had were illegal. <laughs> like, bro, what are you really going to do in this situation? You think you really going to get into D.C.? You going to get yeah, you think to you these had a whole You really, you really thought this plan, plan was going to run down? How, wait, how did, how did they find out about this? And then you were sloppy because you got caught before anything himself. happened. Huh? He was emailing himself. And then you put he the emailing information. himself from work. Like, <laughs> from the work email to his personal. Cause you know they watch that shit. Wait a minute. Well, I'm gonna just From the navy to the personal. Then listen, you know how jobs be. And then he was sloppy um, with it, bro. You came up red flagged. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> what the, exactly? That says civil war, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, he had drug, he had drugs and firearms. In the U.S. District Court for District Warren, that those alleged violations are proverbial tip of the iceberg. The defendant is a domestic terrorist bent on committing acts of bank, um, dangerous to human life. So basically, over like the last three years, since like 2016, he's been amassing an army. That's what I said. Like, he act like he special forces out here. Like, he about to go in here. (laughs) (laughs) What you gonna do? You a Coast Guard. Wow. He had, he worked in Washington, D.C. Wow. Okay. Maybe, maybe he, maybe there's a little bit more to it then. I'll draw back just a little bit. That nigga, I mean, what he was gonna go in there like? I, fucking, know, I understand, but I mean, what's that damn there, movie? Maybe you know something? You had security clearance. Something so of the state. Maybe what's you can get a little bit further. He can get further than the yeah, average like, person, you know. <laughs> but still, like you not no, getting no. You further. wasn't going. It, it wasn't going to plan out how you thought it was going to plan out. I, no, sorry. hell no. It was niggas be thinking shit about to be a movie and shit. He thought he was about <laughs> to be motherfucking Denzel Washington. Right, that bitch. Right. <laughs> shit, yeah, it's like. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna set this gun up here in the like, like, in the elevator. I'm gonna ride the elevator. Block the camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've been watching them every day. They walk out at exactly at twelve twenty seven p.m. What the fuck? And then on top of that, you're not gonna get all of them. for real. Like, like you're not gonna get all of them at once. As soon as one goes down, they on ass. No, they on everybody yeah, exactly. Ass. Everybody you did get one. Exactly. And then you in D.C., bro. Yes. Yes. Out somewhere with your dreams of pipe and <laughs> seeds and shit. Wow. How did he get discovered? Is why he discussed that. Headass. He got. I'm off, trying to find these like emails. Drugs and legal firearms. Or legal. Developed his out. list above I, I spreadsheet know. while reviewing the in one of the websites from his work computer. Wow, he was yeah. using oh. a work computer. Yeah, he was doing all this from work. My nigga's stupid. Boy, if you don't get you. <laughs> You in the military. Even I know there's some things we just don't do on the work computer. Why didn't you know this? You're in the government. The only bad I can make those are all his drugs. What are those? Those are, the, those are the opioids. Have you been going? Yeah, that sounds like a crackhead. That's just called what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a uh, Told you. He was fanning. You know how pipe fantasy. Taking steroids. He was taking Literally. steroids. Wait a minute. When they gonna be Where Captain America out here? Like, <laughs> she was taking steroids to prep, prep for attacks. Exactly. But they found more than thirty bottles labeled as human growth HGH in his apartment. So he out here just getting oh, big out here. Yeah. I told <laughs> he you. He was like, "Yeah, Hanson, you working out, huh?" <laughs> uh, super 
episode of the cereal, man. <laughs> you working out, huh? Yeah, titties. Look at titties. Mad pus. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Oh, like, oh yeah, that's the way he's breaking the handle. Hello. <laughs> 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 he's just mad, y'all. He needs to say shit. Are you too big uh, for your job? Yeah. <laughs> he's taking that shit with one finger. Said <laughs> Bo War. <laughs> Broke the keyboard and shit. Yeah, <laughs> fucking rage and shit. Yeah, this whole. This whole like Chris, what's wrong with you? Hey, computer. check him out. Look at his computer because this nigga tripping. <laughs> Why you got yourself caught? Susan, Susan, get over there. What's going over there? You see, you see that man? Mm-mm. All right. Yeah. Oh no, that's all bad, Chris. Well, like he was being investigated by the Coast Guard. Because he was just buying weapons on weapons on weapons. They found all that other shit. They're like, oh. Oh, you on that trash, trash. Right. Oh, you on some bullshit. You trying to put that shit in the recycle bin. Don't you be. Don't you recycle bin. You put it in the trash and forgot to empty it. (laughs) (laughs) Throw that shit away. Email it to myself. I'm good. Go straight to the recycle bin, nigga. <laughs> All these files and some more trash. Man, they don't leave fucking. Kim suddenly it. breaks down, and that's because uh, he basically made demands, and Kim said no, and he got bad left. <laughs> you know, uh. Mm-hmm. Korea and us being at a war, it's basically a boot blood. Yeah. In which they invade us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, like, if we were to get invaded, it'd be the first time we've been invaded since. What? Like 1777? No, it'd be the first time we ever invaded. Because oh. we weren't a country the last time we were invaded. Ooh. We were fighting for our freedom as a country. So, U.S. has never been invaded by a foreign country in war. Only war we've really fought on our land is our own civil war. But technically, Trump made the good right decision because what North Korea wanted was us to lift all sanctions on them so they could just do whatever they wanted. Well, North Korea wild. And we were like, Fuck nah, that. that's not going to happen. No, 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 no. And no. so, yeah. No. That's why I like Bloomberg because Bloomberg was like, well, this is what they wanted. This is why it didn't happen. Trump did the right thing. So... No real leading. It's just like right, and, this, and that's what I need. So that's why I fuck with them. Blue Man, I ain't no problem with that. I mean. Well, yeah, no, it's just <clears throat> more crazy shit. Oh, the national emergency got canceled. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the, the House passed a resolution to overturn Trump's national emergency <laughs> declaration. They're like, no. <laughs> so they told him funny. no. Cause wasn't there, wasn't no fucking it emergency. <laughs> Yeah. But he's determined, though. Mm-hmm. Nigga, shut that shit down. Through, but yeah. There will be no emergency. I bet that there was 182 people that still voted yes. But even, like, I remember listening to, like, some libertarian uh, views, and they were like, immigration used to be a big problem, but it's not as big of a problem. It's still an issue, but it's not as big a problem as... I know, mean, it's just trying to make it... Right, like, Boy, you living in the 50s. Everybody, like... <laughs> really, like, I don't even... Uh, immigration is crazy because immigration in general, like us having just, it shouldn't be a thing on immigration because people like, it's just the way of the world in general. People move, like animals move, you migrate, mm-hmm. you go to different areas, you do things like that. So like, I get it's like population control and like national security and things in a sense, but at the same time, it shouldn't be like, oh, nah, immigrants. Ah. Yeah. If they here, they got their rights, they got their papers. What the fuck is the problem? They be working and shit. I know, I mean, they be sneaking in, but shit, they they work to a better point. (laughs) They they here to get a better life. There's people that snuck in this kind of fucking country that's living better than we did. (laughs) Yeah, no, dead ass. And then, to me, we we as Americans are just lazy. I mean, I feel like like wall is not necessary. It's just not. It's being difficult. 
people that come in this country, they come here for a better life. They work for their shit. See, let me ask you a question. Do y'all mind, like, who, like, the taxes that we pay, like, goes towards, like, Medicaid and we stand for, like, all the, the welfare state to go to support them? Do y'all mind doing that? Or do y'all feel like y'all should be able to do that? No, I mean, they don't get it unless they're... I don't. No, well, because it goes to the people that are other black people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 People who are born here do that don't do nothing. That's shit. what I was yeah. about to say. That's why I don't yeah, like my so money my going to go to people who are wasting it. So that's why people to waste it. It can go to people who are going to potentially put it to better use. Like yeah, that's like a good you point. Control over your taxes, though. Is that yeah. What you're saying? Okay. So I mean, I'm not going to trip off of it. Like, cause it can go to Becky the crackhead that got five babies because she got five babies and she's not a working system. Right. Mm-hmm. Or it can go to Jose. Who came over here to try to get him a job? I mean, now he got five kids too, but he busting his ass. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm not he can't get a proper job. If, if they're gonna take it from me regardless, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna get it. That was a question I heard, and I had a hard time answering. Yeah, for those reasons, like you know, what I'm saying, like I know a whole bunch of females out here just having babies, just, just to, to keep that money come up on the yeah, yeah for their taxes. Like, they had a they I'm had a. Not uh, take my money at all. <laughs> I mean, if that was an option, I just keep it. <laughs> dead ass though. Shit. But yeah, I mean, you see, it's not. Yeah, and he right. made a good ass point. <laughs> there are a lot of people out here just on that shit, just because they too fucking lazy to get off their asses, do something mm-hmm. else. Yeah. But, <sighs> No job for five years. The fuck? How you get a job? Somebody was like, "Yo, yo, you want to over the age of forty to get off a section?" My mother, listen, like, you dead ass. My I'm mother used to get listen, like eight hundred dollars <laughs> worth of food stamps off of four kids. God damn! And she had a fucking job. Like the government didn't care back in the day. Like shit. What about me? That's what I'm saying. Like, I got a job. I'm still hungry. This is why millennials. Don't be giving a fuck about nothing. They're like, right, like we still give right. it. Like we really have the opportunity to look at stuff and see and see. Like, mm-hmm. wait a minute, maybe we should. That's what I think. That's why sometimes maybe we don't take action because it's like, wait a second. That's why I feel What's like going we on? need to like band together and squad force the change in like a much more progressive direction and not like be nice about it, but like force the change because shit is just like backwards antiquated and that's too actually much focused well, on yeah of course i'm gonna say um to focus on just being traditional this is something i thought about the other day too like millennials right as you're looking at the world now like the oldest of millennials are like getting into like are starting to pop into politics and things of the sense and they're starting to like the way our world is now and the way we look at things lightweight is because of the millennials and the way like people being PC and everything because like the shit they had to deal with growing up and things of the sense mm-hmm. like we you think about it like when you were a kid and things y'all. like that <laughs> you said what drunk and we eat because they hear us they drive oh I don't care all the time but um yeah like millennials growing up and dealing with the way the world is and now they're grown they're having kids and they're having to deal with this shit and like okay we're adults now we actually have some sort of power mm-hmm. and the world is changing because of the shit we had to look at and the things we had to deal with when we were growing up uh it's not changing for us but you know we push it for our children because i mean we can't really do shit about ourselves. Yeah. It's too late for us. We already grow. <laughs> like yeah, we, we there already. Yeah, right. like it's <laughs> when we didn't have a voice. Right. So I think about like if you if back in the sixties when we like when our parents were, I guess in the sense militant and you know what I'm saying we had the the whole flower child movement where most where people were really actively mm-hmm. protesting and they were actively going for change. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that had an effect on us because. We see something that didn't work. You know what I mean? So it's like if we protest today, do we feel confident? I mean, a lot of people did. Face? A lot of people did feel like that because, like, when the black woman kicked up, they was like, "I'm not trying. I'm not my grandparents." That little statement right there alone. Oh, okay. I would say that I don't think is we saw it not work. I would say we saw it work, and then how can I put it? It's like 
if you want something in a relationship mm-hmm. and you working to get it, and I know that I'm a trash ass boyfriend, and I know I'm doing way more shit than you really realize, I can eventually mm-hmm. give you that one concession, and you gonna feel like you won, but you gonna be cool, and you not gonna be on my ass. So that gives me the space to do all that other bullshit. So that's how I feel like what happened. So we won, and then we was just cool and mm-hmm. not on everybody's ass. And while we not on everybody's ass, they was still being trash. Still doing that bullshit. Still in power. Uh-huh. Still working. Still on moving. That one thing, yeah. And we was on this one victory. Okay. And so that's what I think happened. It's, and then now it's like we look back at them and it's like, well, why wasn't y'all working? Right. Right. Basically, like, what y'all, what y'all stop for? Yeah. Like, like y'all, y'all, y'all got that fifty years. Like, over it. We got it. There's like, nah. We gonna pass it on to y'all. Power and black movement, but that was only in like name and like. I think somebody came up with a struggle. A good um statement about it. He said we didn't. He said we wasn't really. What we, what we um, what we were striving for was. I think he either said status or equality. We wanted equality so bad. We wanted to be equal that we didn't realize that what we were giving up in the process. Like, we wanted to be equal to white people, not realizing, like, it was different. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, their ideals isn't our ideals. Their Mm -hmm. ideals of how to make Basically, they were fighting for a different thing back then. Right. They were fighting for... And then we got it, and it's like, well, wait a second. (coughs) We're still not happy with what we got, so... What we were fighting for was what we really wanted or somebody else's idea. Back then, essentially, I guess, in in my mind, what they were fighting for, like you said, it was the right to be equal. It was the right to be treated as a regular person. person. I think that is how they also pulled the wool over our eyes. Yeah. They never once granted us the right to be equal. They just removed blatant segregation. Mm. Yeah. I'm I'm not saying that. I'm saying oh, I'm what the people were actually fighting for. Yeah. That's what they were fighting for, and I think that's where they got complacent. They, I feel in a lot of ways, we were fighting for equality, which is something we never got. We just got the removal of blatant segregation, which made us feel equal, because now we can go shop and spend our money with y'all. With y'all. Our own. Right. Which, I mean, wasn't really a loss for them, because they still get our money. So. Yep. So, yeah. Which I don't, but that's why I was saying, I don't buy into the whole thing that black people don't have power. We have an enormous amount of power. It's just misdirected in weird old places. Since we gone to the black topic, I guess I'll bring up this one last topic and we can hit the black and we can finish it with this and we can go back to this. Just because of February is Black History Month <laughs> and it's been potentially yeah. triggered. It's the worst black history month. <laughs> <laughs> what the I fuck? We need a do-over in March. I, I just want to bring it over. A Black History <laughs> Month. Yeah. So there was a Virgi- the Virginia first lady under um, fire for handing out cotton to black students when they came to visit the um, the governor's office and shit like that. Why did she feel? I didn't hear about idea? this, but um, what? Yeah. Now Pam <laughs> Northam faces allegations of race and savagery week weeks after her husband Governor Ralph Nor was caught in a scandal over a photo he was in blackface. Mm-hmm. And another in the KKK world. That was, oh god, so that's her husband. Yeah. Wow. And she was handing out that's her? cotton. Yeah, that's her. She was handing out cotton to uh, black kids. Good, good job, lady. Good job. Didn't your husband just get into some shit? Why the yeah. fuck? All of what? Vi- what? All of Virginia's political people are getting into shit. What year. was? Why? She felt she like it that? would show the significance of that time period. But she, so I, you know, the crazy shit, shit is, handed, I figured that's why she did it. She like she handed it out to all white the person kids, reason. But then she told like, them you know. to imagine what it felt like to be a slave. You can't give black kids cotton and then tell them imagine to imagine what it feels like to be a slave. I am offended. <laughs> I, tr- I, you know, the sad part is, I thought of something. I was trying to think of something off my top of my head. I'm like, what if I gave you this? I can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just off the top of my head, you I can't. You know what? But that just shows. How would you feel if I did this? How, even though it is racist, white people, not all white people, don't get me wrong, people like this just. So naive. I don't yeah, know, like they just, and like, it's just like, I'm mad at you, but you're just so ignorant to the fact of what you're doing. You like, really you're ignorant know. to yeah. everything. Like, are you serious? You made me think I couldn't get to that. I'm mad because you're ignorant. 
yeah. I'm mad because you're ignorant, but that's the same way I feel about fucking, uh, what's his name? Floyd Mayweather. So, perfect. That, that, that's a great segue. Do y'all feel like this uh, Black History Month has been unnecessarily triggering for black people? And do you think that's because last Black History Month, we had Black Panther, it felt like a black appreciation experience? During last February and February, wow. And this um, month, and this year, kind of feels like they did their utmost to remind us of where they thought we were at. Kind of start this off by saying that my, my aunt, when the Black Panther came out, my aunt called me like, You're not going to go see Black Panther? I'm like, No, nah, I really don't want to go to the movie. You know that was a Black History film, right? It wasn't, though. It was. <laughs> I was it like, wasn't, though. It was. No, it wasn't. I was like, uh, I guess they forgot to make me study for Wakanda. And, <laughs> like, when did this happen? So just to, that's just kind of the Bless point, you. like how Bless important black people thought that movie was. I'm gonna be honest about Black Panther. Mm-hmm. While it was a very good movie, it wasn't something that I was like. Oh, I got to see it. it. Yeah. Yeah, Black Panther, it. like, no, Black Panther, like, like, it just wasn't that for me, like. It was more about. It was supposed to be that. It's just. It was more about the fact that it was, all, like, the cast. All black cast. Yeah. Not, I get that, but niggas is going to the movie theater with fucking afros. Kind of, right. and, I mean, like, like, like see, right. all oh, black on. Wait, time out, In the time movie out. theater, like. Time out, time whoa, whoa. out. No, ain't no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all got to slow y'all roll. So oh. we're not mad at the white people or the Asians for cosplaying and dressing up. We don't talk shit about them. We, they, yeah. they allowed to do that. That's cool. I, don't know I mean, but should I ever see them in my If they not. Yeah, yeah, so there's not a whole conventions where it's. They but that movie, that, that movie was not for to. that, though. So you, but that movie yeah. wasn't for that. It wasn't Black Panther, the fucking racial Avatar, movement. Avatar, it was Black Avatar, Panther, Avatar, the, Avatar, the, Avatar, the, Avatar, the Avatar, super. Let's put it like this. Neither one of y'all go see Broly in theaters. Neither one of y'all go see. Bro, <laughs> You're right. exactly, exactly, anime. So I can tell you, there's no. plenty of white people with wigs on and uh, saying armor. But did it have something to do with the movie though? Was yeah. it the, were they dressed as a movie character? Yeah. Okay, so when people are blowing the Black Panther like Black Panther from the '70s or whatever era that was in, That's Black right. Pan- no, because that movie was not that. They it wasn't that. Black Daishiki. Now if you got the Daishiki on, I ain't mad at you because okay, it's Wakanda. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> but you're not about to get up here and dress in all leather <laughs> with your she, leather. Uh, she, okay, 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 I see the argument here. <laughs> okay, I the like movie. she's I talking like about that. hitting him with the black, the literal like Black like, Panther. Literal, like, I'm gonna hit you with that fist. Like, I got my no, all. That is the Black Panther. I'm talking about. People that thought it was that. That's not. That's because they were. Yeah, I'm not mad at the people that okay. were dressing like. Okay, as long as you're not talking movie. about the people that were dressing no, like. No, be proud of the black people. Like, and I, I ain't said, it, but that movie did not give you authority to go in with no goddamn all leather and an afro. <laughs> you should have been doing that all damn year round if that's how you felt about the Black Panthers that really fought for us. No, what? But yeah. I don't know. Black people took Black Panther to win. Man, I ain't mad. Man, we him, did the most with Black Panther when it first came out. We was Wakanda in like the airport. We was doing Wakanda for everything. <laughs> Just Wakanda was wait, hold on. Coming up to me like, oh, here's my thing. Wait, like, wait, 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 I don't wait. know what that movement is. Since we're like, on this topic, we got we got to talk. I got to talk <laughs> about this real quick, right? What is that, X Men? I got no. It's it is it's Marvel. It's just Marvel. It's it, it's in the same realm as X Men. But um, here let's talk about this real quick, right? <laughs> I hate to bring this up. I hate to bring this up so much. But I want to say a good 80%, maybe even higher, didn't know who the fuck Black Panther was. I didn't agree because before this, I didn't know Black Panther was a... He's a comic book character. Yeah, I didn't know that until somebody at my old job told me, like, oh, they're making a a movie from the comic He's really famous within Marvel. I didn't even know it was a comic book (laughs) book existing. Like, Black Panther came out of that. Black Panther been out since the seventies. Yeah. Like he's been a comic he's consistent comic book character. He's all he's always been the richest comic book character. Mm-hmm. People ignore him for Tony Stark, but hey, Wakanda. He's mm-hmm. the king of the richest one of the richest nations in the con- in the world that people don't know about. But whatever, you know. Still whatever. educating me right now. Yeah, I knew about because him. I read some comic books. And I think they had on B E T they had on the book. cartoon, didn't they? Really? Yeah. And I know that. Uh, oh, X Men. You bring up that point. He married Storm from X Men. He married Storm from X Men. Yeah, they were a That's couple. Dope. Yeah. And you know, Storm from Africa too. So 
That's dope. Yeah, yeah. they was a couple for a good while. That's dope. Yeah. Storm was wrong. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't. I had no knowledge of Black Panther before yeah, this. Now, Black what you saying that it. it's a comic book from the seventies? Did that derive from the Black Panthers? <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Because Stanley, like, so Stan maybe Lee, that gives me a little bit more insight as to why maybe some people are dressing yeah. up as an actual Black Panther from yeah, that that's, time. That's where it but derived from. People that I don't think everybody knew that. I think people were just taking the ass. That's what I said. Black like, eighty percent of people that went to actually go see the movie, yeah. didn't know who the fuck Black Panther yeah. was before he yeah. started seeing trailers and but people started talking about it. Into yeah, I'm like Stan Lee, like, like, like Stan Lee, supported Black people. He was always yeah, behind yeah, yeah. and all that whatnot. So, like, there's if you look at like throughout the Marvel <laughs> comic, mm-hmm. hell, like, X Men, right? That's why he's got here. Charles Xavier, Martin Luther King. Magneto mm-hmm. was Malcolm X. That's who they're based off of. <laughs> and if you think about Charles yeah, Xavier, he works Shaka, like yeah. MLK, peaceful, yeah, and all this yeah. whatnot. And Magneto's like Malcolm X, in which he's real aggressive and, he, and fighting yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I'm comparing how Magneto Stan Lee and, uh, worked uh, black dope. people into comic books like Black Panther and X Men and stuff like that. That's dope. Yeah. So now you're about to make me like go back and like really look into yeah, some X Men is based off the black people, the black movement. I love us. Yeah. I love Magneto. I love um I love us. I love Professor X too, but like in the movie, I'm just a big fan of Michael Fassbender and uh James McAvoy. So every time I see them, I like Michael <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Yeah, like, oh my god. Yeah, like every time I, I see them. Magneto. You said what? I thought there was a couple, like when I seen their pictures yeah. drop. Who? Magneto and um and um yeah. Professor X. What about them? I'm pretty sure they're married. No, I think they just took those pictures. They look like they are like a gay couple, though. No cap. No, they're not gay. I don't think. They, they look, look no. The pictures that they seen, like that they took. I, I mean, James McAvoy. They said McAvoy was gay. I think Michael Fassbender has a wife, maybe. I don't know. They're they real. I mean, well, I know you're saying the names, but I'm like gonna movie. name them Professor X and Magneto. He, he's like, I'm going to put these actors in. At the bottom. <laughs> that, bro, they're going to get you. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, Magneto is married. Of course, my name is Kevin. My name is Okay, so that ain't really answered the question. So, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen is who they're talking about? Wait a minute. Why are you trying to make Oh, it? no. Oh, oh. what's going on. X is getting married and he's being the yeah. I okay, they all right. Together. They just put them together. That's what you was talking about. Girl, yeah. I'm not talking about the comic book. I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 it's for me. <laughs> no, we can't do this. Talking about the actual actors. Please don't do this to me. No, oh my god, not that. He's no, getting married. No, he's this is officiating. Too oh, he's officiating. Okay. Yeah. I'm at the right I really no. If you yeah. they have like some pictures together. Go go to images. I wonder if it come up. They have some pictures together that look really like. Look, Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Something right. I like to see. Why do you open face kiss like that? But he really looks like he's kissing his chin, though. I'm not going to cap. Like like I don't chin. care what you're doing. I mean, that Why ain't your face I think they dap each other up. And then they, when they still do the thing, they still got that, that space in between them. This is full on. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like... Just did my two. <laughs> okay, so McKellen is gay and Stewart is straight. Y'all knew Ian McKellen was gay. I knew that. But when she said it, I was like, <sighs> I thought they was married. I'm mad. They keep using different characters like Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> That's Captain Picard. Stop giving me Star Wars Please and stop. Lord of the Rings and X Men. I don't need all that. Just use their names. Just use their names. <laughs> Years ago, that show has been taboo. Now we can just Google gay Professor X. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we didn't type gay. We just said Professor X. Wait, 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 wait. I got a question, y'all. I got a question, y'all. What's up? How do y'all feel about schools being forced to teach gay rights and not not gay rights, but gay history and not black history? That's crazy. Wait, what? So like now one? schools are now schools have to fly the gay flag. 
but and they have to teach gay history or gay rights or some shit like that but you know black history itself african american history it has always been an elective and it's only taught throughout schools in february but government and because american history so i feel like this is an everyday it's mandatory that you learn these things we as the black people didn't band together and make that a requirement. Agree, because the, my gay niggas. Yeah, y'all we've been out here, and y'all be like, "No, we about to do this." Gang, gang. I mean, that seems to see that seems to be black so, people's problem, just in general. Yeah, so we don't ever band together to get shit done. Yeah. Because and that's our because of all the crazy shit that they put us through. No, because everything is a joke to us. I mean. I want to say it is, is a joke to us. A lot of shit is a joke to us. Memes and shit, like yeah, everything, everything is a fucking joke to us. And <laughs> no, dead ass, like <laughs> and so he wasn't even mad about that. From I was think he? Everything is a joke to us, so. but I think that's. I don't think he was mad about the memes. Because it's to the point now, niggas know what they're gonna be a meme. Yeah, I mean, you know, because we play too much. Black people just lack a general understanding, mm-hmm. and due to that causes like a lot of hurt and the way that you manage your hurt is it's by, by making a joke and just everything is fun and cheap yeah. I mean, shit, and so we, we roast the fuck if, out of people if yeah you we do you go really got shit you can't really like affect anything and your life is terrible fuck it mm. talk some shit mm-hmm. that's what i got that's a good way to you uh, laugh look at that. you smile to cover it so once you put people in that situation and they so focused realistically there's like a hierarchy of needs. You need shelter, food, and like a sense of security is like your basic needs. Mm-hmm. And until you can get those, you can't get past that level of seeing those things as a priority. They don't let black people as a whole get past that level. Mm-hmm. So we can't never apply it on something different because we always stuck. Trying to, trying to shelter, fucking security. eat and yeah. trying to make sure we got I mean, somewhere to stay. I mean, every time we got there, it got tore down, so. Yeah. That was a really good um thought. Yeah. It really was. Y'all yeah, think we need a black agenda? Uh, shit, one. fuck. We need a group of black people to push a black agenda first. Think we should make a black pe- black agenda? That's four. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Because then it wouldn't it be under the guise of what we keep saying that we don't want. We don't want separation. In America, there's no black America. There's no white America. There's just America. That? It's, it's not about separation. separation. Yeah. Yes, it is. Who it's not. <laughs> Wait, what happened? She, she and I said that last night. <laughs> Pause, yeah, I, she said it wasn't about separation, and I said it was about separation. That was confusing. Yeah. No, it's not about separation. It's not about separation. It's about us being able to have our own shit within our own. Like, we don't, like, the point we were making. Because at a time, we did we have our own shit. Yeah, we had black Like I said, every time we get something, it gets torn the fuck yeah. down. Anytime we get we anything had that. that, anyone, like, most of the time, nine times out of ten, we get anybody that's in a leading charge for us, something happens to them. They get took down, they get put away, something in a sense. It's not even just us. Shit, the hell, shit happened in fucking Africa with Nelson Mandela too. So like, it's Lord, just pray for Akon. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about it. Pray for Akon. <laughs> he out here making the acorn. But yeah, Africa yeah, like, booming and shit. I don't think it's about us being separated from everybody. I think it's about us being able to just come together and make our way in between in all this shit. Because mm-hmm. realistically, that's what everyone else did. Mm-hmm. Everyone else came together and made Stuck their way together and deal through all the shit. That like, ass though. The, everything they had to deal with, uh-huh. they still came together. We still won't do that. If we took the chance to come together, then we can get to a black agenda and actually get shit pushed. But we're not willing to do that. We have our so, separations. Yeah, we have Black Lives Matter, well, but Black Lives Matter splintered and came so much other shit mm-hmm. at right. this point. I think there's shit. See, when I say separation, I mean to the sense of like, We shouldn't end desegregation, in my opinion. It should have been a fight for not desegregation, but for equal opportunity to real estate, equal access to educational materials, things that are and we would have had our own shit. Period. A, a level of wealth of them, and not just 
in name that were equal. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. after desegregation, then it was just like, oh, well, we're just going to set up all these districts that you're not allowed in. And before, we had our areas that we live in, and those are very prosperous mm-hmm. because we kept our money circulating with us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We could have kept that. And so I kind of feel like we need to be more, like, insulated like that. Yeah. Because all and that's what like that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's not even us like being separated, but in a sense, but it's us coming together and digging our own little path through all this bullshit. Oh, so you mean us being together as a unit? And I mean us being yeah. separated from the whole. Like, yeah, I'm talking about us. Thing, yeah, like but, we're we're saying the same thing. It's just, like that's why I listen to like what you were saying because like yeah, we're essentially saying the same thing. We need to come together and dig out our own path, our own way, and put our, like get our roots down and grow from that instead of like you know pushing into other people's shit like we just need to come together as a people overall have an identity and have our own thoughts and yeah because yeah. then like at that point yes we can get to a black agenda and we can start actually getting things done but yeah we can have an agenda but agenda don't do shit if there's no one there to push it so what would y'all say to the liberal that's like no wait a second we're all fucking one and there's no like you know what i'm saying like the the, the regular general left the far left would be like no there shouldn't be no separation there should be no bounds black people are essentially oh, our completely help. Agree. i completely agree that it should be the human race mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. there should be no borders and it should be free movement between all countries and language shouldn't be the barrier of you not being allowed to interact with other cultures and things like that mm-hmm. i feel like that should be a challenge for them to undertake to like engage right. and so we should just like all work together as like a human race but that's a very idealistic way to think well, of i was it. about to say we're not working I we mean, gotta like, all get on the same page exactly. as yeah. everybody and i think so every much country sometimes. is so focused on a national origin which is just I mean, a flag that you made up we so focus on our own human construct uh-huh. that we can't see the bigger picture I mean, we're like us as humanity is never gonna see a bigger picture unless we get a world threat that threatens all of us, not just yeah. like us threatening because we each don't other. We have a predator, and that's our biggest exactly. problem. We, we don't, don't have nothing that hunts us. We don't have Shit. anything that's over us. There's nothing. Global, like, there's gl- nothing global warming. Knowledge. We still ain't fucking recognize that's that's that like, shit. No, that's not like <laughs> shit. That's not like an active threat to us. That we it's not have. right now, no, but it will be. Realistically, we're probably like even if. Humanity does live like even if we do live into our hundreds, we probably still won't be affected by global warming. Essentially, we'll die like, for whatever happened to see the effects of it or the true effects of it. I don't know. Unless Not we us. Just like rampant, or unless we just like get. Did y'all see all them polar bears on the one iceberg? Yeah. That shit is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it is fucked up. Twenty-two thousand polar bears. Oh, or a ton, hundred. But like we yeah. were saying, though, like you're not gonna get. On one iceberg, <laughs> <laughs> humanity is not going to come like my as a whole on one is not going to come together unless we have a common threat mm-hmm. as a whole. I I get what you're saying though. Yeah, I like, do. It's like anything, like any movie you ever see, like humanity, like it's usually in movies. Like if like if we look, if, I was just like about that. to say if we had aliens, then we all band together. Oh yeah, because it's every it's them We're versus the humans, us as humanity, the human race, and you're not gonna destroy us, you fucking right. aliens. Not today. And like it's, the point you were making, there's. Like humanity is on top of the planet here, so yeah, like, yeah. No, I get what you're saying. That's why there's a race, race. It's like we're a bunch of gorillas, and we all in each other's like territory, mm-hmm. and we just happen to be smart enough to create very destructive ways to remove all people we view as threats, mm-hmm. and that causes mass damage. I mean, if we fought like chimps, you know, we'd be all right. I mean, we do. (laughs) We do fight like chimps. Chimps grab weapons and utilize things like that. We just have a much more enhanced. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Like we just took that chimp fighting Mm -hmm. to a much greater level. Yeah, no, no, no. I want to. I'm talking about basic primitive level of chimps. Oh, you want us to go back? Yeah, nigga, throwing rocks and sticks. You only go. You have minimum casualties. Yeah, hey, niggas gonna get hurt and be like, "Hey, I'm tired of this." Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, niggas, stop throwing rocks at me. Who's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this. I want this. Think about it. You see a fucking boulder come flying at you from a catapult, like, <laughs> like you ain't even gotta go. You like, if you took modern day technology out of shit, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. So you said 
think no black agenda right now. You said what? You don't think we should create a black agenda? I think we need to get together as a people first. Because like I said, I don't think a black agenda is useful unless there's someone to actually move it. Right, because none of them, I was just thinking about all those candidates. They just be saying like random shit that black people want to hear. And here's my like, thing. This will ir- like that that irritates yeah. me. That <laughs> irritates the fuck out of me. What do you think would be so simple? They try to play it like we so simple Tell minded. Black people have no idea. What do you think would be something that could get black people together as a unit? Mm-hmm. Or who? I don't know who the fuck who. That's Jesus. Jesus. Lord, please don't. Oh, don't do that one. Lord. We tried that one already. You see how that worked out. <laughs> I really don't know what black people Like, who? I don't know what. Like, I, off the top of my head, I don't know. Like, if I was a presidential candidate, what would I say to black people? We need Beyonce. Realistically, yeah. You just need somebody that black people look up to, to be honest. If you want their honest opinion, you can't, like, come out here like, yeah, we're going to legalize weed. Oh, we're going to reform these prisons. Da, da, da. This is Because most black people aren't, like, most people aren't paying attention to that. I mean, I guess that's the issue, too. I think it is start off from a very basic, simple statement that different does not equal bad. White people are different from us, whether we want to acknowledge that shit or not. And it's not a bad thing that they're different. They need different things for them to grow. We need different things for us to grow and prosper as a people. They need different things for them to grow and prosper as a people. But I don't think it's that's, that's not an analogy, man. No, because think about it. Let's be think, all right, let's just take the man and woman whole dynamic. We want to be, or what feminists say, we want to be equal to man. We can't be equal to a man. We just can't be. Just like I can't be equal to a white person. We just different. Like you would have pointed it out to me one time. You were like, yo, you tall ash, somebody could be short. You not born equal just by that definition. You will never be equal. You have advantages that she doesn't have and she has advantages that you don't have. So I think if we just stop thinking that different equals bad, then maybe we can get a little bit further along. And that's way, that's, I think that kind of plays into the whole segregation thing. If we keep thinking, trying to say separation is such a bad thing, maybe separation isn't such a bad thing because we have different needs than our Hispanic counterparts and our white counterparts, our Chinese counterparts, our Cambodian, whoever. We just need different things. Like, African-Americans need different things than Africans. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. does that make sense to anybody? Like, I, I get what you're getting at. I, I see like what you're the saying. Part. It reminds me of my favorite Kid Cudi song. I can't remember what it's called right now. Well. <laughs> but the one with, um, what's, um, Will Smith's daughter? Willow. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the name of the song, but he does say something like, we supposed to do our shit on our own. We supposed yeah, to do because I don't have yeah. the same music stop, that like, like Cambodia fuck, has. Yeah, like, like you stop. You here a whole ocean, and you constantly with ocean culture. Let's mm-hmm. just put it that way. You gonna be able to survive off fish way mm-hmm. longer than I can. Mm-hmm. So this that kind of this one of the simple concepts. I'm not saying like that's the end all. Yeah, end all, but I think that's a simple concept that could take us a little bit farther. I think. Yeah, if everybody would accept it. Mm-hmm. That's true. But I think that's it. Damn, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> Y'all ready to be out? We done? I feel like this was a great episode. You know, yeah. I feel like it was pretty cool. I thought it was going to be like, yeah. Y'all dropped some little dimes today. <laughs> I thought it was like, yeah, man, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. You saw me. You see how I just Crazy as fuck. Did a good job hosting. That's good. I had to chop that uh, little list I had. <laughs> It was <laughs> yeah, it was twelve topics. Just so y'all know, my original was had twelve topics, and one of those twelve had like four separate links inside of it for each. <laughs> Those are all the presidential candidates, man. I was doing like a lot. I'm sorry, but this that's from when like so our main better. focus is the podcast. Like we making hey, money, and we but, that's our wait, job. Wait, hold on. Before job. we to, yeah, to get out, uh, like, since we didn't really man. talk about it, I would, I would like to say there is like Hispanics running for presidency now. Yeah. And mm. a lot. That was who Julio. Julio Castro. Ah, Julio That's Castro. Okay. Oh, I forgot that last name. Oh, Castro. Oh, <laughs> our homie Pete Buggle Gut. <laughs> what was his name? Booty Gigi. Booty Gigi. The the millennial in the world. 
out here, you know, yeah. repping. Booty gee gee. Heat. Booty gee gee. Boot at it. Oh, God. Y'all got me saying it wrong. Boot at it. Oh, I can't even say it right now. Booty gig. I'm trying to say his name. Booty at it. Booty at it. There we go. Booty at it. Booty chat. Booty chat. Booty chat. You gotta say it faster. Don't sound right. You can't say boot edge edge. <laughs> boot edge edge. <laughs> yeah. So weird that I say these people's names. Booty. This has been the contradiction podcast Yo. show. Out of here. Great one. Great one. Follow us. Follow us. Contradiction construction. Alex, Alex, out that yin yang. YouTube. Yin, bitch. Mm-hmm. We on YouTube. YouTube. Like fucking bell. Subscribe. Bells. Like. Subscribe. Share with your like. friends. Share. Y'all gonna drop y'all social media. Drop that little shit. Drop that uh, little shit. Uh, yeah, I got you. Uh, logical high. Logical Instagram. high. Logical uh, high. Instagram. Know, conscious reconstruction. A A. YouTube. Conscious reconstruction. YouTube. You know, click subscribe. All that oh, good stuff. Click that. Subscribe. Um. Coca Cola. Oh, Coca Cola. Twitter too. You know. Oh, Twitter. There. Twitter. That's, that's where I'm at. Tweet tweet. Oh. Uh. LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> whoa whoa whoa. Whoa whoa whoa. <laughs>